flying through the text like this isn't as tough as you might think. And you can pull that off as well right from the edit page without adding a single keyframe. So first of all, we have to drag our video clip onto video layer number two. So we have an empty video track below it. Then we wanna go to the effects library in the top left corner, go down to titles and select the text plus title and just grab drag and drop it below our video clip, just like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the video clip and hit D on my keyboard to deactivate it so I can clearly see the title to make the changes I wanna do. With the title selected, I'm gonna go to the inspector in the top right corner. I'm gonna do all my changes because this is a shot from Portugal. I'm gonna type in Portugal right here. I'm gonna change my font to impact and I'm gonna increase the size just like so. So once I've done that, I can reactivate my video clip. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my video clip and hit D on my keyboard. And right now I'm gonna line my text up so they all start at the same time. And what I wanna do now is I'm gonna select my video clip that I'm gonna go over to the inspector in the top right hand side of your screen, go down to where it says composite and change the composite mode from normal to multiply. And right now you can see that we have used the text as a mask to mask out our image. And if I play this back, you can clearly see that we can see our footage through the text, but once the text ends, everything turns black and that is due to the composite mode. So in order to fix that, we have to select our video clip right here, make a cut and on the right part that is not affected by the text, we wanna select that, go to the inspector once again and change the composite mode from multiply back to normal. And what that'll do is we can clearly see our footage right now, but when it comes to the point that the text is gone, we can still see the video clip. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna select my text right now, come over to the inspector once again, but not in the title settings. Instead, we wanna go to the regular settings and activate dynamic zoom. And so that we can see what we're doing, we have to activate the dynamic zoom overlay. And you can do that by going to your viewer and in the bottom left hand side, you have this drop down menu, just select dynamic zoom and those boxes will appear. Now, first of all, the green box is the starting point and the red box is the ending point. Because we wanna zoom through a letter, we have to make our ending point like really small and we're gonna start out with the green box like a little bit bigger, something like that. And then we wanna just again grab the red box right here, make it small until it fits through a letter, something like that. Perfect, and when we play this back, this is what you'll end up with. So we're clearly flying through the letter T in here, but we can add some easing to make this animation a little bit more smooth. Select the title and again, come over to the inspector in the top right hand side of your screen, go down to where it says dynamic zoom and dynamic zoom ease. We wanna change that from linear to either ease in, ease out or ease in and out. And in this case, I'm gonna choose ease in and out and voila. This is a pretty basic fly through text effect. So during editing the video that you're just watching, I just came up with a different idea on how to get a very similar effect. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. First of all, I want you to go to your effects library, go to titles and grab the text plus title. And this time just put it above your footage like so. Then I want you to go over to the inspector and customize the text to whatever you like. Then I want you to go over to the settings tab and activate the dynamic zoom feature once again. Let's set the dynamic zoom ease to ease in and just swap the directions real quick. Then again, come over to your viewer and activate the dynamic zoom overlay, just like that. Now grab the red box and make this box real small. And this time we're not gonna fit it inside the letter, but we're gonna fit it in a free space of the letter. So I'm gonna zoom in real quick and you can do this with your mouse wheel, just scrolling up and down, make it smaller and then just like fit it in here. And you can also use this type of effect as a transition. First of all, I'm gonna make my title just a few frames longer. Let's just go with like nine frames. Then I want you to go over to your effects library, go to video transitions, and just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna drag this cross dissolve and make the cross dissolve just a little bit shorter like that. And now you're transitioning through the letter O into the next shot with a smooth cross dissolve. And hey, if this video was helpful to you, please consider leaving a like and maybe even a comment. That would be super cool, but otherwise, got nothing more to say. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.